in the past, Rogers has referenced the parallels between the toxic relationship between Jordan and his former GM, Jerry Krause, to his situation with his GM. We do know this, however. The reigning NFL MVP went through his normal offseason training regimen with proactive sports. While it remains unknown whether he will return uh, to camp there, a representative from Proactive Sports Performance said Rodgers is working and he's ready for football. Freddie, you are up first. He's ready for football, and I get the whole last dance trying to make that work, Miley and Lewis, but I will say this about Aaron Rodgers. Of course he's going to play, and here's why. He's owed $14.7 million he plays this year, and he's on a two-year contract after that where he's going to get $25 million per year. He may not like Mark Murphy and Brian Gutenkunst, the president and general manager respectively, but he does like his teammates, and he loves the town of Green Bay, and he loves the Packer fans base. He's not going to be there on time tomorrow. I don't have any doubt about that, but Aaron Rodgers understands celebrity. He understands his brand. He knows when he comes in, there's going to be a lot of fanfare. There's going to be a lot of pomp and circumstance, and that's exactly what he wants. It's all about Aaron Rodgers versus the Green Bay Packers, and he believes he's going to win this battle. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. He's going to play one last year. This will be his last dance with the Green Bay Packers. Then in the next season, before the next season, he's going to – Forces his way out of Green Bay. But he knows they're this close to a Super Bowl championship because they were that close last year and the year before. You're not going to just go away from that and leave your teammates just because things are not working well the general manager, the president, two guys that he can't stand. So I firmly believe he comes back for one year, one last year, one last dance with the Green Bay Packers. But then after that, that's going to be it for Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers staying together. Lou, talk to me. Yeah, it's it's next level trolling, Molly. It really is. I mean, they're yeah. real good at this, man. He's real good at this. You know, Tom Brady's good at it. these guys. Put a lot of thought into these kind of things, and you, I mean, you would never you would never associate Aaron with someone who isn't very calculated. And I think he is sending a message, although it can be interpreted different ways. With that picture with him and Devontae, you know, both at the same time putting on Instagram this last dance, you know, type of reference. But look, I, I'm, I'm with Freddie in this regard, all right, if we just completely boil it down. I, I don't think he shows up on time. I don't think there's really any benefit to him showing up on time right out of the gate after everything that's happened this offseason. I just don't see him giving them that kind of satisfaction to say, look, I put you guys through all this this offseason. I really made it known through, you know, secondhand sources that I was that disappointed and then I'm just going to show up on time. I don't care how much he loves his teammates and loves Green Bay and wants to play football. I think he's also a intensely principled person in his own right in terms of he believes what his gripes are are very, very, very legitimate and personal to him. And he needs – he has a point to prove to this, to this organization. Now – when it gets to the regular season and when it gets to the amount of money that he can lose and when it gets to the fact that, you know, you know when, he, when you're in your mid-30s, late-30s, that every year becomes even more and more critical because you, you don't know how many more you have left, I think that's something that Aaron, without a doubt, is very aware of. And I'm sure he doesn't want to sit out a year and take it to the nuclear option, so to speak, of retiring and holding out all year long, although I wouldn't put it past him. I think he does play maybe in 2021 for the Packers and force his way out next year. But look, he is going to make this uncomfortable for them because this has become intensely, intensely personal. And I think all of us can relate to that in some form or fashion, that when th once things get personal, you don't care what conventional wisdom says. When you have a point to prove, you're going to prove it. And this guy's trying to prove it right now. Absolutely. I'm just trying to figure out what – uh point he's trying to prove with that IG post because clearly it is calculated but you really <laughs> yeah. can take you can take it either way so one last dance exactly. one last year or it's all over now we yeah. bring in the newest member of our ESPN family Sam Acho former NFL linebacker VP of the Players Association so good to have you sir where are you on this do you think we're going to see him play in Green Bay this season he would need to report to camp tomorrow yeah, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to is going to report to camp number one, nor will he play in Green Bay this season. Let's just look at the subliminal messages that are being sent. Right. This is a social media war. Last week, Stephen A tweeted out that Aaron Rodgers has been dismissed. He's been disrespected, all these things. And you know who retweeted that tweet? Shailene Woodley. You know who Shailene Woodley is outside of a star of the Divergent and the Allegiant series? She's also Aaron Rodgers' fiance. She's the closest person to Aaron Rodgers. Just a few days ago, there was another tweet on social media after the Milwaukee Bucks won the NBA championship. You know who tweeted out? Aaron Rodgers. What did he say? He named the GM of the Bucks by name and lauded his incredible moves. You know what else happened like we talked about just now? 
this IG time story, right? I'm, I'm 30-something years old, so I'm in this whole millennial Twitter, social media. This is a social media war, and Aaron Rodgers understands he has no options monetarily, so he's going to try and put as much pressure as possible on the Green Bay Packers. Will he show up to camp? No, he will not. Will he play for Green Bay this season? The only way he will play, the only way Aaron Rodgers will play for Green Bay this season is if they give him the keys to that roster, if they give him decision-making ability on who's on the team, and also if they give him the ability to call his own plays. Every other superstar quarterback, the Tom Brady's of the world, the Peyton Manning's of the world, the Drew Brees' of the world— all them got the keys. Y'all know that song? I got the keys, keys, keys. Uh -huh. They have the keys. <laughs> they can decide whatever they want to do. They're calling their own plays. They're deciding who's on the roster. You don't, you don't think, you don't think that Aaron Rodgers is hanging out with Tom Brady and Tom's like, yeah, man, I chose my own, I chose my own players. I choose my own plays. I figured out. Aaron Rodgers does not have that respect. They have not given him the keys. And unless he gets those keys, he will not play in Green Bay this season. Point blank. Period. He's going to play in the NFL because here's the deal. He does have the keys to the kingdom when it comes to Matt LaFleur because Matt LaFleur gives him carte blanche to change plays, line of scrimmage, and do whatever he wants. Sam, I hear you from the standpoint of personnel. It's the old line by Bill Parcells that he wants the groceries if he's going to cook in the kitchen. That's never going to work in Green Bay. They didn't let Brett Favre have the keys to the kingdom. They didn't let Bart Starr have the keys to the kingdom. They're not going to let that happen with Aaron Rodgers. But in terms of him, whatever his gripes are, and Sam, you said it, and Lewis, you said it, whatever it is, we should all have a gripe with our job. We went to the NFC Championship game in back-to-back -back years. We should all be that dissatisfied with our job being the quarterback of a football team. We're not talking about Aaron Rodgers playing for a 6-10 and 10 team that is disintegrated around him. We're talking about a guy that last year, if he made a couple of plays in the second half and didn't throw a couple of interceptions, we were talking about the Green Bay Packers, not in the NFC Championship game, but in the Super Bowl. So whatever gripe he has with Mark Murphy and Brian Gutenkunz, the president, general manager, respectively, I understand that. But let's get rid of this misnomer that he does not have power of terms of having the kind of power that a quarterback is looking for when it comes to having his own plays and everything like that. He has that power in Green Bay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.